tuning in to watch this video. If you haven't already, don't forget to subscribe to my channel for new punk rock videos every week and tap the bell to get notified when new videos drop. My name is Erin Miklo and I'm here with Migraña Social from Mexico. How are you guys? We are really fine and we are excited to be here in the Rebellion Festival. My name is Polo and I'm the guitarist. Jose Dragón, La Voz. I am Katrina, I am the bass guitarist. I am Eric, I am the drummer. So what does your guys' band name mean in English? Can you? It means social migraine, because we think that punk is uh, attempt to be a menace, so it's a social migraine. They hate it using to too much loud noise and political and social lyrics. That's awesome. Well, so you guys played Rebellion last year, and that's where we first met, and you're back again this year. How did it come about for you guys to play Rebellion, and what does it mean to you to be back here again, coming so far away? Um, uh, this, uh, we really appreciate that uh, Rebellion invite us again because all the trip uh, were really harsh for us uh, because of the distance and everything, but being here it's really amazing. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> That's awesome. So how did it come about though for you guys to get booked on this festival in the first place? Well, uh, Rebellion 2016, I came here only for the festival and bring my CDs to, to Johnny, to Darren. They say, hey, this is our music. You, you want to have a listen? If you like it, you can invite us there. And yes, next year we were invited, but we couldn't come because of the money. Yeah. <laughs> but in 2018, we can come and we played on the introducing stage and it was, it was really great. This year we have a lot of CDs and fans sing with the lyrics translated in English so that they can know what we are talking about. Yeah, for sure. Well, so for you guys, did you have any struggles getting over here this time? I saw that you were touring um, throughout Europe on the way here to England for Rebellion. Did you have any struggles and how has the tour been promoting your second CD? Yeah, actually, it's been very funny because uh, we've been uh, having a lot of issues. Uh, we lost our airplane yesterday and <laughs> the, the train, uh, yeah, uh, it was trouble uh, about the train from Ma Manchester to Blackpool as yeah. well. So it's been crazy. We barely sleep, but here we are <laughs> having fun. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> we don't care. <laughs> That's awesome. Well, so for you guys, I saw on your Facebook that you also posted stuff about kind of class systems that really like jumped out at me because you were posting about kind of the people in Mexico, maybe the people that are working on the streets, selling the little pinatas and the difference of the ladies on the buses of, you know, a, a lady like you and like myself where we are flashy and we dress up. And there's those ladies that are the moms, they're the workers. Can you talk more about what that meant for you? Sure, yes. Uh, for, for us, punk is, is uh, not only about music, but it's also about uh, doing something for the community where we live. We live in a country with a lot of property and a lot of uh, social issues. So we support the local economy and the indigenous native tribes. And also there is a lot of problem with women. There is a macho culture there that is it's ugly there. Uh, we do not uh, support uh, to see women treated as a as an sexual object. We are against that. And that is what we try to express in our lyrics and our music and not only play, but support the causes in Mexico. <laughs> Come on. 
Yeah, for sure. And I saw that you guys also posted stuff about, you know, like you said, anti-sexism. For you, is that is that hard being a female in a band? Do you get that a lot? Uh, not in a band, because these guys are really amazing, but it's hard uh, to be a woman in Mexico, actually, because uh, uh, we have... I I don't uh, I can't dress like this and walk on the street because every man is like a, I don't know they're they're like like a zombies and hunger I don't know it's it's really uncomfortable to be a woman in Mexico and it's also dangerous you you have to be aware every minute on the streets yeah it's there's a lot a lot of homicide homicides yeah, <laughs> feminicides and that's that's horrible because the the government um it's like uh they just uh close their eyes to that problems and nobody is uh is taking care about that and it's it's really sad actually it's um it make make you make you feel like impotent. It's it's horrible. Yeah, it's it's the old fashioned ways of a woman should not be loud. <laughs> she should be quiet and be in the kitchen and, and raise the children and that's fine too. You know, that's that's a job, but if if like us we wanna express ourselves, it's hard when you I've had that traveling the world too. I'm fortunate to live in Los Angeles where it's okay, it's it's applauded and accepted just like here at Rebellion. But it is hard as a woman when this is our way that we express ourselves, and you you can't do that in certain places. Yeah, yeah, it's very it's very hard, and uh, all the social problems in Mexico, uh, it's that's awful. Yeah, there's a lot a lot of lack of education, a lot of ignorance, and. We try to express on our lyrics uh, those problems and that all the world know about that. Yeah, and I think that's awesome that you guys are spreading these messages. I mean, that was what really attracted me to, to looking at your Facebook, getting ready for this. All the things that you're putting on there, that it's not just about the band and oh, we're touring and this, but you're spreading important messages, which is amazing. So. I saw that you guys also have uh, two bass players in the band, right? <laughs> How is that? I, I don't know if I've ever seen a punk band that has two bass players. How did that come about? <laughs> well, um, we had a, ba a bass player once, and then she came and she also played with the bass. There are some times that uh, one bassist cannot play on certain gigs, one bassist cannot do it on certain gigs. There are, so let's, let's do both, both bass. When they can go uh, and play both of them, they do different things in the bass. Yeah. One thing do something and she's doing another <laughs> thing. It was great. In the beginning it was hard because uh, the um, PA is not ready to receive two bass signals, but yeah. we managed it. That's awesome. Mm -hmm. But also the, the first bass could not come. Her things to Cucaracho. Yeah. <laughs> he could not come. Saludos, it, it is really hard for us. Yeah, well, yeah. We have to say yeah. for a year. <laughs> but yeah, having six people in the band, it's it's very expensive to get over here with all of your things and, you know, your gear and your luggage and what you need to get ready. So, so how many people are here today? Five. Five. So Five just of the band, three mates. <laughs> awesome. So what do you guys have planned after Rebellion? Are you going home, just hanging out, like, resting? We would love to go home. <laughs> but now we'll be playing still. We'll be in Berlin and Switzerland. Oh, that's awesome. And those are your last two shows of the tour? Yeah. That's amazing. Can you guys share, lastly, one of your favorite stories from this tour so far? Just something that happened, good or bad? Um, 
Well, um, like I said before, uh, all these problems with our planes, the train, and all the transportation, it's, it's been crazy for us because uh, in, in France, we, we went to the gig uh, like, like one minute before our <laughs> plane, and it's, it's been crazy, but there's a lot of memories that we pack and <laughs> go back to Mexico and then it's it's good it's it, everything is good for us it, it it was also harsh to to cross the Atlantic Ocean and get here yeah a lot of stress yeah because uh, a lot of jet lag and <laughs> we, we we live in the third uh, world not in the third. <laughs> so everything is hard for us but here we are. <laughs> but you made it. Yeah. Yeah. Well, so I want to close with that and say thank you guys so much for taking the time today. Thank you very much to you, to all. It's a good camera boy down there. Maybe he's not seeing it, but it's a good one. And we, we are here also to promote, uh, we would like to, the, the new album that we have. It's called Needle of the Fans and Nadia, that in English means um, nobody's idols nor fans. And, we are, are Migraña Social and you are watching Last Rockers TV.